Welcome, my friends. A function is an even function if f of negative x is equal to f of x for all values of x in the domain of f. This means it doesn't matter if you plug in the positive or the negative version of a number, the output will be exactly the same. An easy way to think of this is that opposite inputs generate the same output. Consider f of x is equal to x squared. If you plug in a positive number or the negative version of the same number, you will get out the same output. For example, if you plug in 2, you will get f of 2 is equal to 2 squared or 4. If you plug in negative 2, you will get negative 2 squared, which is also equal to 4. It doesn't matter if you plug in the positive or negative version of 2. Either way, you get the same output of 4. In other words, the opposite inputs of 2 and negative 2 produce the same output of 4. More generally, f of negative x is equal to negative x squared, which is just x squared. When we plug in the negative version of the input, we get the original function back again, which is what makes f of x equals x squared even. A function is an odd function if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x for all values for x within the domain of f. This means if you plug in the negative version of a number, you will get the same output you would have gotten if you plugged in the positive version of the number, but the sign is flipped. An easy way to think of this is opposite inputs generate opposite outputs. Consider f of x is equal to x to the third power. If you plug in a positive number and then the negative version of the same number, you will get the same output, but the sign will be flipped. For example, if you plug in 2, you get f of 2 is equal to 2 to the third power, which is equal to 8. If you plug in negative 2, you get f of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 to the third power, which is equal to negative 8. If we plug in the positive and negative version of the same number, we get the same output, except the sign is flipped. In other words, opposite inputs of 2 or negative 2 generate opposite outputs of 8 and negative 8. More generally, f of negative x is equal to negative x to the third power, which is negative x to the third power. When we plug in the negative version of the input, we get the same function back, except it's negative, which is what makes f of x is equal to x to the third power odd. Graphically, even functions are symmetric about the y-axis. For every positive value for x, there is a corresponding negative value for x with the same output. Here you can see a few different graphs which all represent even functions. Graphically, odd functions are symmetric about the origin, or you can think of them being as flipped across the x and y-axis. For every positive value for x, there is a corresponding negative value for x with the opposite output. Here you can see a few different graphs which all represent odd functions. Now don't confuse odd and even powered polynomials with even and odd functions. Just because you have x raised to an even power in your function does not necessarily mean that you have an even function. And just because you have x raised to an odd power in your function does not necessarily mean you have an odd function. Even and odd functions have very specific definitions, as we've been stating. To be even, f of negative x must be equal to f of x, and to be odd, f of negative x must be equal to negative f of x. Consider f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x. Here's what the graph looks like. Even though this has x raised to an even power, x to the second power, that doesn't automatically mean this function is even. In this case, the function is not even, as opposite inputs do not produce the same output. For example, we have the point 1, 3 on the graph. If the graph was even, we should have the point negative 1, 3 on the graph as well, but we don't. We have negative 1, negative 1, meaning that the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x is not even. The point is, just because a function has a term raised to an even power, that does not necessarily mean the function is even. The same is true of odd powers. Just because a function might have a term raised to an odd power, that does not necessarily mean the function is odd. 
Let's look at a few graphs of functions and see if we can determine if they are even, odd, or neither. What do you think about this function? Even, odd, or neither? Well, it kind of looks like an odd function by its shape, but let's check a few points. It looks like we have the point 1 and then something just above 1 on the graph. That means we should have the point negative 1, comma, something just below negative 1 on the graph if it was odd, but we don't. Instead, we have negative 1, comma, 0. Since opposite inputs do not generate opposite outputs, this is not an odd function. It's also clearly not an even function, as opposite inputs are not producing the same output. So this function is neither even nor odd. How about this function? Even, odd, or neither. Let's check a point. It looks like we have the point 1, 1 on the graph. It looks like we also have the point negative 1, negative 1 on the graph. The opposite input produced the opposite output, which indicates this is most likely an odd function. Let's check one more point to be sure. We have the point 2, comma, about 1 half, so we should also have negative 2, comma, negative 1 half if the function was odd. It looks like we do. For this reason, I am comfortable saying that this function is odd, as opposite inputs are generating opposite outputs. Let's try one more. Is this even, odd, or neither? Well, it looks like we have the points negative 1, 0, and 1, 0 on the graph. We also have 2, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 1 on the graph, so it appears that opposite inputs are producing the same output. That indicates that this is most likely an even function. Let's try some practice determining if a function is even or odd, or neither, based on the equation. Consider f of x is equal to negative 2x to the fifth plus 7x to the third. Is this an even function, an odd function, or neither? The way you can tell is by evaluating f of negative x. If you get the exact same function back again, you have an even function. And if you get negative of the function back again, you have an odd function. I like to first find negative f of x, as that helps me to know what to look for in possibly matching an odd function. So my first step will be to find negative f of x. Negative f of x is equal to negative negative 2x to the fifth plus 7x to the third. We need to apply the negative to the entire function, which is why I've used parentheses. This is equal to 2x to the fifth minus 7x to the third if we distribute the negative sign. Now let's find f of negative x, and see if we get back f of x, or negative f of x, or perhaps neither. We have f of negative x is equal to negative 2 times negative x to the 5th power, plus 7 times negative x to the 3rd power. All I've done is replace x with negative x in the function. When you raise negative numbers to odd powers, the negative sign does not go away. So we have negative 2 times negative x to the 5th power, which is positive 2x to the 5th power, minus 7x to the 3rd power. Now let's look at our output and compare it to f of x and negative f of x. Does f of negative x match either f of x or negative f of x? Well, it certainly doesn't match f of x, as the signs on each term are not correct. It actually matches negative f of x exactly, meaning that this is an odd function. f of negative x is the same as f of x, except the sign of every term is flipped. That means f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, and this function is an odd function. What about g of x is equal to negative 4x to the 5th power plus 3x squared? Is this odd, even, or neither? Let's first find negative g of x so we know what to compare to for potentially matching an odd function. We have negative g of x is equal to negative negative 4x to the 5th plus 3x squared. Distributing the negative sign, we have 4x to the 5th power minus 3x squared. Let's find g of negative x to see if we match g of x or negative g of x, or perhaps neither. We have negative 4 times negative x to the 5th power plus 3 times negative x squared. Simplifying, we have positive 4x to the 5th, since the negatives cancel, plus 3x squared, since squaring a negative number makes it positive. Now we need to ask ourselves, did we get the same function back again, or perhaps the same function, but with all the signs flipped? Well, the function isn't exactly the same, since we have positive 4 rather than negative 4, 
which rules out the possibility that this is an even function. It also isn't an odd function, as it doesn't match negative g of x that we found a moment ago. The 3 should have a negative sign in front of it for it to be an odd function. Therefore, this function is neither even nor odd. Let's try a few more examples. We have f of x is equal to the square root of 6x squared plus 1. Is this even, odd, or neither? Let's find negative f of x so we know what we are possibly looking for in the case of an odd function. Negative f of x just says take the entire function and make it negative. So we have negative the square root of 6x squared plus 1. So if f of negative x matches the original function, we have an even function, and if f of negative x is equal to negative the square root of 6x squared plus 1, then we have an odd function. Let's find f of negative x. f of negative x is equal to the square root of 6 times negative x squared plus 1. The square will cancel the negative, so that we have f of negative x is equal to the square root of 6x squared plus 1. This matches our original function. Since f of negative x is equal to f of x, we must have an even function. What about g of x is equal to 7x times the absolute value of x? Again, I sometimes like to first find negative g of x to know what I'm looking for in the case of an odd function. Negative g of x is equal to negative 7x times the absolute value of x. Now we can find g of negative x to see if it matches either g of x or negative g of x. g of negative x is equal to 7 times negative x times the absolute value of negative x. This simplifies to negative 7x times the absolute value of x, since the absolute value will get rid of the negative sign on x. This matches negative g of x, meaning g of negative x is equal to negative g of x. This means that g of x is an odd function. Okay, let's try one more example. We have h of x is equal to 1 over x plus 9. Let's find negative h of x, so we know what we are looking for in the case that h of x is odd. We have negative h of x is equal to negative 1 over x plus 9. Now let's evaluate h of negative x and see what we get. We have h of negative x is equal to 1 divided by negative x plus 9. So what do you think? Even, odd, or neither? Well, it looks very close to negative h of x, which would indicate that the function is odd, but they are not exactly the same. The negative out front is not the same thing as having a negative on just the x in the denominator, so this function is not odd. The function is clearly not even, as the equation does not match h of x. Therefore, this function is neither even nor odd. Alright my friends, that wraps up our video relating to even and odd functions.